Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Thursday, December 2nd, 2021 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is our collective energy for absolute, relentless optimism. <laughs> this is our manifestation energy using tarot and many other clarifying cards to allow us to focus on the positive and pick ourselves up by the bootstraps if necessary by hook or by crook, move forward and allow ourselves to move forward in positivity, creating the life that we want from right here. You don't have to go back and make any changes in the past. We're going to start from today. And we do this every day because sometimes uh, we just need it. Sometimes we need it every five minutes, but I, I can't be available to, the, to that schedule. So the best I can give you is daily. You can re-listen. It always helps. So uh, if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Uh, with that, I want to make a, a, a quick announcement about the podcast. It is now available. You can talk to your Alexa and just ask for Royal Mystic Podcast, and it'll bring me right up. Uh, you can also go to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, iTunes, or I, uh, yeah, Apple Apple podcast. I, I don't know. I'm repeating myself now, but everything major that you can listen to a podcast on, it's available. So I thought it was really cool that one of my friends called me all excited because she just like asked a less Alexa for my podcast and I started talking. So hello, welcome, <laughs> welcoming me into your living room, uh, even more so. So these are these are the energies now of today's reading. I just had to make that announcement because it's kind of exciting. I think it's pretty pretty snazzy that Alexa will will play my podcast. I didn't anticipate that, so I was pretty pretty stoked. So let's see what this fabulous energy has to say. I want to point out right off the bat, I noticed something because this one was the card from, bottom card from yesterday. Because here's the one we ended with, right? The the yesterday's thing and this was I flip it over for the next day I am flexible and flowing well flexibility is our top card here so this is going to be awesome we're already in tune and away we go many blessings to you all don't forget this is a collective energy so it's all about all sun moon and rising we're focusing only on the positivity here not the star sun moon or rising sign not your star sign so here we go it's fine if it's in here, but that's not the main focus. We have the Knight of Wands and the Chariot. What a beautiful energy of action. And Elvira Knievel rides again with overcoming all obstacles, leaving rainbow dust in, in, the, in the interim as she fires it up and goes right over the top of all those sand dunes. And this is success and beautiful energy in the Knight of Wands as action needs to happen. Get on the get-go. So she took off, burnt off into the right direction, and here we go into the reading. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, the magician, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone, all sun, moon, and rising signs, to have the information they seek to assist them. And remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always. And we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, Three of Cups starts us off real nice. That's the energy of the Seraphim. We also had, I can't even remember what the second cut card was. I was so excited. Hopefully it'll pop. Oh, the magician. There we go. It popped right into my head. So there is the energy of all your ability to focus on the positive with your heart chakra and manifest anything you can believe in that's having your faith absolutely aligned with your heart chakra energy in the positive. When you manifest from your heart chakra, you are not using negative karma so you won't have to be in a place of trying to balance that out oh they're nice 
This is fabulous manifesting energy. This is the goddess energy of the empress. This is the fertility of all existence. So the empress energy stands for the source in the feminine. So you have the masculine feminine, emperor, empress. This one is the fertility of something new coming in and the support of it financially. A fortuitous energy of abundance with the pineapple and the bananas or the finance. And the energy of the... Um, Oh gosh, pomegranate. There you go. <sighs> pomegranate is fertility. So, flexibility. I am flexible and adaptable to change while I pursue my ambitions. This is really important. It doesn't always go as planned. So we have to be able to roll with it. However, it shifts and moves. We got to be able to bend with it, right? We've been doing, we've learned that, I think, it's been driven home to us <laughs> over the last year and a half, right? Being in a place where we've all been in a place of just having to really buckle down. We have courage. Oh, it's right with flexibility. My fear of rejection does not stop me from bravely going forward. This is the point. If you never dare greatly... You won't be able to push past boundaries. And sometimes, and yes, pushing past boundaries is not fun all the time. Getting out of your comfort zone is never fun. It's never fun. Um, but it's necessary for growth. So, feel the fear and do it anyway, my darlings. That's kind of why I threw the podcast out the way I did. Because I just had to force myself to throw the first one in the, in the ring now. I'm ready to roll. Abundance. Ooh, we love abundance. So that's what the energy is bringing in. And that's what she's giving the hint to here. The abundance is already here. And the an angels are confirming with our angel, oracle, angel answers oracle cards. If you have that deck, it's very persnickety. So don't let it discourage you. Just keep working with it on and off. And it'll finally get into harmony. It took me about... Oh, almost a year to get that thing to work right. Earth. This is grounded solid energy. The frequency of Earth activates our deep connection to the physical plane by showing us the beauty of all the aspects of our great mother and revealing more ethereal spiritual aspects of our nature so the empress energy is sort of that energy of the mother gaia energy because it is that empress feminine energy the mother earth energy is protective and part of the process of abundance because that's where we have all of our you know all of our resources that are in the natural we mustn't forget that this is spiritual and this is the physical the earth energy, right? So, I am flexible and flowing. I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly, being and just moving with the groove. I am flexible and flowing. I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. So letting go of your resistance is more than half the battle. So there is a rhythm and flow to life. I am part of it. Life supports me and brings me only good and positive experiences. I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. I trust the process of life. There is a rhythm and flow to life, and I am part of it. Life supports me and brings to me only good and positive experiences. I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. Trust and, and being in a place of faith and courage and being in the place of knowing that there is there are stages that you go through and, and trusting that they are all always 
actionable whenever we're going through the begin, you know, there's a beginning, middle and end of everything. So allow yourself to be in the process of constant renewal, because that's what life is, is the constant wheel, right? So we have the three of cups and the three of cups is the energy of the seraphim, the blessings of the universe being poured into this one cup. So literally you're getting a double portion. So that's fabulous. We love that energy. And now we have the Knight of Wands, which is very fast action. So it's telling you it's time to get ready. Something's coming your way. Action is required and you're being, you know, notified. Hey, we're, we're getting ready to go. And the Eight of Wands confirms new things coming in very rapidly. This is new opportunities, new communication. It can even be no negotiation. And for some people, this is air travel. So the Eight of Wands comes in to help keep it moving. Many blessings to you, my darlings. Have a beautiful, beautiful Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.